talented on the same backfield. You usually don't have that, you know. Um, yeah. So it'll be special. Yeah. So this is it for you. How much is that sinking in? Um, it's it's sinking in. Um, it's coming slowly but surely. Um, this year's been filled with a lot of laughs, um, a lot of um, laughs. So um, this will be my last game ever. Last time I put on those pads and those jerseys. Uh, I'm gonna savor it. I might sit in my locker after the game and just keep it on for a little while. Um, but the most important thing is I know we're ready. Right? Leonard said everyone was ticked off when he got left off the high school. Yeah. Yeah. That includes you too? Absolutely. Um, I've said the whole year, and I'll say it right now, he's the best best running back in college football, no doubt in my mind. Um, the things he can do with the vision he has, he's the best. And, you know, it's really a, a, a crime that he was an all that. It's a team game and everything, but did you guys, the offensive line, you know, kind of have a certain guilt? Like, man, we, if we would have done a better job, maybe you know, November he might have made it. Or, you know. Absolutely. As an offensive line, we feel like um, it's our job to, to open the holes as big as he needs and, and, and cover everything and block, and block everything cleanly so he, he can make as many yards as he wants. And so when things don't go exactly the way we want to, we put the, show, the burden on our shoulders and we realize we need to fix it. Sir, so was it now that you, all of this is coming to a, a close from the, as a freshman to a senior? What is LSU meant to you? Been in bad words? Um, LSU has meant a lot to me. Um, I've not only improved as a football player, which I've definitely have. I've extremely improved in that, um, becoming a better man. That's, that's a credit to my coaches, my teammates, my teachers, my trainers, just the whole environment I've received. Um, I've become a better person, a better man, um, just being here in these past four years. Been around Coach Miles for that amount of time. A, a lot of personal one-on-one -on -one conversations. Is it one that you can share that kind of like stood out that left a, a statement on you from day one and from that point forward you knew you were in the right place? Yeah, absolutely. Um, he's always said um, how much he, he loves his offensive line and how much I, me and my dad reminds him is of him and his dad. Um, and so from day one, I felt a bond with him. I felt like you guys are extremely honest, extremely hard work. The coach is going to push me and become the best player I can be. Is there anything else you can think of, you know, as a player or as a student in LSU, you know, that comes like comes to come to mind right now that you'll always remember, and cherish as a special moment. Um, you know, just just the environment. Um, really, you know. The game against Ole Miss last year when the whole whole, the whole, the whole, the whole stadium rushed the field. Um, and I really couldn't move for a good 20 minutes because there were so many people screaming and fans just swarming me. I, was, I probably took about 100 pictures I, I didn't even know about. Um, but um, yeah, that was a special moment I'll never forget. It was a big game and we won it. And it was at home and it was night and uh, nighttime in Death Valley. It was special. Talk about that. I was going to, you took me to my next question. A day game in Death Valley is totally different than a night game in Death Valley. It's just, most, that. It's just just talk about the difference in the atmosphere for folks that don't know that that have have yet to experience that. It's something that you can't experience. Experience. I just got goosebumps thinking about it. Honestly, um, a night a night game in, in, in Death Valley is something that doesn't compare to anything else. Um, it's it's electrifying. It's deafening. It's everything you think it would be and more. <laughs> <laughs> All right, with that, then we'll close this out. Just introduce yourself if you can. Uh, Vidal Alexander, uh, offensive tackle, LSU. This is Jerry Lee Willard, Jr., the College Sports Report. Thank you. Oh, okay.